we have this courtesy of Jound. So, I'm sure most of you know that Jound put out a Made in Germany Ada Samba recently. Um, it's completely sold out. I think it dropped the other day. So, if you're already watching or listening to this, you would have known it's already sold out. Everybody's got their pairs or didn't get their pairs. But one of the sad things about this situation is that when I initially, when I initially saw this project, I loved it because I thought like the Samba was is probably the quintessential Jown shoe maybe second only to like a Reebok Classic or like an Air Force One, uh, mostly because of Justin Saunders and his minimalistic approach to wearing and shit or the uniformity of his personal wardrobe. Um, and just based on what the stuff I remember seeing on the John mood board back in the day when I used to read it, you know, or check it religiously. And I was even, like I said, plenty of times on here before, I was lucky enough to be featured on John many, many years ago with my shoes kind of being in one of the fucking mood boards back in the day, which is pretty cool. Um, because I'm sure he maybe saw a lot of the, or he maybe was able to get a lot of the mood board images from randoms based on some of the pings he was getting. So maybe because of my blog, I had links to his blog. Maybe he'd kind of notice some of the pings coming from his blog through mine and found me that way every way i was honored to be featured on there so when i originally saw these made in germany um ada sambas that were going to retail for a lot more than what standard ada sambas go for i thought this was a perfect collab for jound because it allowed them to essentially make a classic to take a classic samba and lux it up in terms of materials which kind of you know speaks to what they do with their main line they'll take a classic hoodie and just lux it up in terms of materials and finish and quality, whatever it may be. So you can kind of see the same thing happening with the Samba. But unfortunately for us, unfortunately for us sneakerheads out there, it doesn't look to be the case because there's been reports of people saying that although this special edition Jound Ada Samba says it's made in Germany and clearly the materials are a little bit more luxe and exclusive and higher quality than your regular Samba you're going to get in JD Sports, when you look deep into the shoe, they were actually made in Vietnam. <laughs> so they sold sneakerheads a fucking dream. Typical, right? Typical. These big, you know, these sneaker brands, these sports brands, right? They fucking don't and they try to appeal and play into the whole sneaker trend, but they never do. They never kind of do right by sneakerheads. They always give off the just, you know, the bare minimum because they know next year we'll be back again. Yeah, they kind of take the kind of sneaker consumer customer for granted because the most of us out there who are really buying shit are probably hype beasts anyway so they don't give a fuck what someone like me thinks but i do think it's quite disappointing to see such a i feel like a cool project kind of be sullied because they couldn't exactly make the entire thing in germany they had to somehow maybe i don't know make some of the panels or whatever it may be in another country and then construct it in america which is something that i remember happening a lot back in the day when i was involved in the what would you call it i won't say the workwear scene or the workwear trend but there was a time in life where everyone was reading that website called the continuous lean that guy's blog and shit right so around that sort of era of time i remember this was the one of the bigger issues about the made in the usa tag that a lot of companies had and i think a lot of companies were getting away with it back in the day because they were basically doing what is being alleged that you know Adidas did with Jound was that they would order the different components or different pieces for a particular item of clothing and then they'd put it together in their own factories and warehouses and that would technically make it made in the USA which is crazy but, but I assume it, it does work because each piece might have a different point of origin you know different from them you know different from the fucking tie to the buttons whatever it may be so that might be the reason why they're able to get away with it but it is quite unfortunate that you know, such a cool sub, such a cool project with such a high, high price tag wasn't able to deliver on the promise of making these shoes 100% in Germany. And again, considering it's an Adidas, it's a German brand, I don't know why they can't make shoes in Germany anyway fully. But let's read the article here, courtesy of Complex. I kind of digs deep a little bit into what I'm talking about here. The selling point of new of the new two, as I get, that's what I said, imagine two hundred and fifty dollars of a samba which is funny because i remember saying once that when i was getting fed up with jordan brand this is when i used to post on nike talking shit back in the day there would always be a person who would post like this amazing thread with all the up and coming jordan brands sneakers happening in the next few months and shit right and um one of the things that used to, to annoy me whenever i used to see those line sheets of up and coming whatever year it was shoes would be like 
it'll be the same retros every year the same retros the same team editions or special edition whatever it may be it'll be nothing cool or interesting that's the thing that is always annoying me like why can't they you know why can't these jordan brand fuckers instead of just retroing the same fucking jordan one in shitty materials why not give us a decent colorway best materials and then you know quote unquote market it to fucking sneakers and that shit will sell out instantly but they don't want the hassle of doing all that sort of shit so they'd rather overcharge or smack you know bump up the price tag for regular samba and hope people buy it um you know and promise them the world and then not deliver which is horrible and a part of me also thinks i wonder if they did this whole price bump and you know give soul the dream that it was made in germany as a way to kind of get people to be okay with paying that kind of money for a samba anyway going forward maybe it was their way of trying to get us ready for the real okie doke who knows um the selling point of the 250 version of the Ada samba design in partnership with the canadian brand jound is the shoes german craftsmanship exactly its rollout included a video of the german shoemakers talking about their work but a closer inspection reveals a more complicated story of the shoes origin an image posted on Jown's Instagram story this week showed a worker putting together a dissembled pair of Montreal um, studio sambas. In a photo tagged made in Vietnam is visible, despite the shoe being heavily advertised and produced at Ada's Schoenfield factory. So the, the made in Vietnam tag was found by an eagle-eyed viewer on Jown's own Instagram stories. Are you having a laugh? Jown's own Instagram stories baited them up. Reddit friends Instagram comments turned under John's post have highlighted the discrepancy. Let's, let's see what they're saying on Reddit, actually. What, what are these motherfuckers saying on Reddit? This is absolutely crazy. As you can see here, single social media rollout featured this image showing a made in Vietnam tag on the upper. Yeah, you can actually see it there. You see it there, made in Vietnam. God damn. Um, in the same reply by Compass, Adidas explained that the shoe was finished in Germany, if not totally made there. So again, they lied. And it's also strange. Why can't Adidas make shoes in Germany? Especially, I would have always assumed, I think similar to like, um, what's that What's that New Balance factory in the UK? Is it like Flimby or something, right? I would always assume, or I, would, I wonder why brands like Adidas, if because New Balance can do it, they're smaller, but why can't a big brand like Adidas afford to open a smaller factory locally where they could do like special edition shoes? And then sell them out and create an insane markup. Why can't they do that? That should that, that should that should be something that should always be on the table for most sportswear or footwear brands. A place where you can make up to five hundred, you know, shoes, and then you could kind of, you know, sell them directly from that fucking factory, and everyone knows where everything's been sourced from. Because well, how are you been to do it? Um, Davis Jown Samba was crafted in Sheinfield, said um, the brand. Whilst components of the shoe are produced throughout Ada's supply chain, the shoe was hand finished and constructed in Germany. But again, what does that mean? Hand finished could be them sewing the label on the tongue, hand finished could be them slipping the fucking insole on the shoe. This is very deceptive. Jan did not respond to requests for comment. Of course, they didn't. When it comes to products being advertised as made in Germany, there are no set requirements for how much of the product must take place there so if john would have put made in germany no if john would have made it in germany without making it in germany they probably would have been okay this means that the john ada samba can still be labeled as german made sneaker even if production occurred elsewhere and the pairs were only assembled in germany like i said that used to happen so much in in back in the day in the men's or streetwear scene especially with hats and everything i think we're just like buy the pieces of it and then construct it in their own warehouses, you know, domestically. Other brands using this messaging, New Balance Made in USA line requires domestic value of 70% of the sneaker. Ironically, those who tried to cop a pair of the sneakers on Jungle website when they launched on Wednesday were prompted with a hot, with a bot protection question that also uses their shoes are made. The correct answer, according to John, was Germany. So as you can see, I got the German tag on the side. The leather looks lush, even from here such a good sneaker love it love it love it even the whites are really nice to be fair i'm not going to lie i'm not going to lie even the whites are fucking hard as well so yeah big up john big up adidas um don't lie no need to do that don't lie there's absolutely no need to do that if you don't mind but again you know what do i know what do i know um 
let's see this as well. Da, da, da. Actually, what is that? What is it on Reddit regarding this thing? So on Reddit, here's what they said on Reddit. Do y'all think the brand is lying about production of outside of a country? Um, a person replied and says they're not as much lying as taking advantage of the trade and manufacturing language loopholes. New Balance does this as well by uh, the way of their MIA, so MIUSA and MIUK lines. For example, if I import Chinese fabric to the States, so all the garments here that qualifies MIUSA product, even though the parts, part, sorry, weren't farmed, created, milled and produced in the US. Okay, mad. Even then, the uppers are sewn in Vietnam and brought to Germany. I understand if the MCUA materials were likely imported, but at least you know that someone in the USA might make the upper. Welcome to the world of where made it. Made in a country where foreign workers are... Okay, cool. I don't care about that shit, but you get it. You get the gist. Um, John's out here lying. People are still out here buying their shit, and people are still out here buying their absolute shit. I hate it. You guys love it. It kind of is what it kind of is.